Wow, this is impressive. We're here on the southern shores of Lake Union at Mohai, the Museum of History and Industry. For many years, this was the Naval Reserve Center and the armory for Navy uses here in Puget Sound country. And if you go up on the fourth floor, you'll see where they train young sailors to be skippers of the ship because there weren't enough ships to trade on, so they used this building as an actual training location. It was the first command of many young sailors. Many museums concentrate on what happened after European settlers or Asian settlers came to the Pacific Northwest. But Mohai really concentrates on the people that were here before that as well. And their Native American stories and the learning experience about Native Americans is excellent here in this facility. Well, you've all heard about the B-17s and the B-29s and all the Boeing manufactured airships during the war and then the commercial airplanes. But behind me is B-1, Boeing's first aircraft that he wanted to prove to the world that not only could people fly, it could fly commercially. It was an endeavor that would work and carrying the mail and carrying passengers as well. Uh, innovation that started in Seattle and remains in Seattle today. And look here, this is Slow Mo 4, Seattle's favorite boat. We all remember, at least if you're my age, you certainly remember that first Gold Cup race in Seattle. She came out from under the bridge and the starting gun went off and those Detroit guys were flabbergasted. She beat them hands down. Slow Mo 4 will always be my favorite hydroplane. In some ways, the story of Washington State is also a story about beer. There were breweries in Longview and breweries in Vancouver and breweries in Tacoma and breweries in Seattle. Maybe the two most famous ones are the Olympia Brewery and the Rainier Brewery in Seattle. My great-grandfather was a barrel maker that worked at the Rainier Brewery for many, many years. And the big R on the wall back there brings back lots of fond memories of the enjoyment we had on a Sunday afternoon sitting around the table enjoying a glass of Rainier beer. This facility has virtually millions of artifacts, historic documents, pictures, you name it, that talk about the story of our lives and the people that lived here before us. If you want to learn about Seattle's history and have a great day, Come to Mohai and see these wonderful exhibits. It's not just a bunch of dusty old artifacts or relics, but it's about innovation and invention and how to get young people involved in making new decisions that'll make our community even better than it is now. When it's all said and done, Mohai, the Museum of History and Industry here in the South Shores of Lake Union is one of my very favorite places. Mm -hmm.